Hi guys, this is Always back with another tutorial of AutoCAD Essential Training. In this video, I'm going to discuss isometric drawings. So, isometric drawings are two-dimensional illusions that represent three-dimensional object, but they're not 3D models. This is perfect for AutoCAD LT, which doesn't support 3D modeling. So, you can actually represent a 3D object in isometric. So, to enable isometric drafting, you need to turn on the toggle on status bar called isoplane. So go to the customization menu on the right corner, click on it, and then here we got isometric drafting. I'll make sure it's checked. And now we got an icon on the status bar called isometric drafting. It's got three options here, isoplane left, isoplane top, and isoplane right. So what I'm going to do, I want to turn on my isoplane left, and just turn on my ortho as well by pressing F8. Now let's draw the line. I'll start from here and then as you can see it's drawing on a 90 degrees and 180 degrees because our US, UCS is on the same on the wall for now. To turn on the isometric drawing what you have to do you gotta click on it and make sure it turns to red and green. So if you look at the cursor now it's in two colors red and green. So red color represents x-axis and green color represents y-axis. So I'll go and click this arrow and make sure that I want ISO plane left. And now let's draw a line. So I start a line from here and I go and left. It's drawing on 150 degrees and 90 degrees. So I draw a line about here and I go on top. And then I come back and I go down a little bit. And then I go about here. And I just move all the way down. So now to clean up this drawing, I'm going to go and select my trim command. Press spacebar to select all and get rid, of these, get rid of these ones. So now let's select top isoplane to make the top part of the drawing. So I'll go ahead and select the line again and then start from here. So if you wanna, if the intersection doesn't show up, what do you have to do? Hold down shift key, right click and select this endpoint. Go to the right about here, go back and just draw a line here. So what I'm going to do is I want to clean up this drawing because this line is not actually what I wanted. So I'll go ahead and select my erase command by pressing E, spacebar, select this line, press spacebar again to get rid of this. And I'll start a line from this endpoint now. So hold down shift E, right click, click on the endpoint, select this endpoint and go all the way there. And now let's draw a few more lines on the same isoplane which is a top. So draw a line about here like one more, draw another line. Alright, so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to draw a line on the right side. So select this intersection and I go, see, as you can see, I cannot go down because my asymmetric is on the top. So I'll go and change this to either right or left. Let's draw it right first, a line, a random line basically. And then I select this intersection point and go all the way down. And now I use the trim command to clean up my drawing and I click this part and I get rid of that line. So now I can copy this left part of the drawing. Let's say I'll select my copy command and I select these objects. And now for the base one I select this intersection, take this to the next intersection. I want to select one line so I click on it and delete. Now let's clean up a drawing. Select the trim command by pressing TR and spacebar and get rid of these corners. You need to press space bar one more time to select the whole object. So I get rid of these lines. All right, so there we have it, an isometric drawing that represents a three-dimensional object on a two-dimensional surface. If you want to go back to the coordinate system, which was before, so you need to make sure that you toggle off this icon, isometric drafting. All right, guys, thanks for watching. This was about isometric drafting. So isometric drafting is, is very useful if you want to represent a 3D model on a 2D surface. And thanks for watching, guys. That's it for now. I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Subscribe to my channel for more videos on AutoCAD Essential Training. And be sure to check out my full playlist on this course.